Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs. This is a Lexus 350RX that's in need of a new battery. The hardest part of the whole setup is removing these beauty shields or whatever they call them in there. They come out pretty easily. I just use my fingernail underneath the edge of the grommet. You can use a small um, screwdriver and some of the tough ones on there. The uh, next stage is making sure you haven't lost any of those little grommets as you put it down. And we're going to loosen the battery um, in a certain sequence. First, let's go ahead and use a 10 millimeter uh, socket and remove the battery hole down. Now, in this case, uh, we can really just do the one nut because the other side is actually held down with a uh, J bolt. And I will show you, you might see the edit, but basically it just hooks down below the battery. And uh, so you don't really have to loosen in that other side. You see, it just says the end is just a little hook type thing. Next thing is using a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to remove the negative side of the battery. And this way, if it's disconnected, anything touching the positive side accidentally won't ground out. So this is a basic thing that you want to do for any type of removing a battery in any car. Just an extra precaution, unless you're more careful than the average Joe. Now, in my case, I'm going to use a battery charger as the auxiliary power supply. I'm putting a piece of wood here so that the charger doesn't ground out on anything accidentally. The safest thing to do is use another battery because some chargers don't have a smooth enough current and the, cur the car will detect the difference between a battery and something that's pulsing and you could lose some of the memory or other things that are in the computer. In this case, I've used this before a few times and it worked very well, so I'm using a battery charger. And it's nice that the cables are, are much more flexible, um, so that's why I continue to do that. So here we're gonna take off the negative battery terminal and just kind of push it aside out of the way and do the same thing for the positive. In this case, I need to loosen it up just a little bit more. Um, didn't get the um, nut to loosen to just finger tightness. But we'll get that taken care of pretty easily. Now it's important that you want to use this uh, current to maintain that memory because some cars will actually think the car is being stolen. And in one case, uh, my first car, I had to bring it back into the dealer for them to charge me $200 to put in the code so I could operate my radio again. Uh, I don't know if they do that these days. Uh, it was free when I first got the car, but I guess they got tired of doing it and started charging uh, a lot of money. So I started using um, this method. Now that all the wires have been moved out of the way, um, so it's easy for me to pull the battery out. Um, got to wipe your hands. That's what good mechanics do. And just lift the battery out. And set it aside. And hopefully the other battery is ready to go. Putting it into the same orientation. Uh, check to see if there's anything missing in there. Was there any fluids? Like uh, was the battery cracked or anything? Look to see if there's any kind of problems in there. And uh, make sure it sits nice and even and um, not wobbling. And then you're going to go ahead and put the battery hole down in. Again, we're not connecting the battery yet. We're going to get everything done in the proper order. So put that J hook underneath there to its little groove and um, put the hole down back down. Then the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and hook up the positive end of the battery. That way it can't short out against anything. And go ahead and tighten it down. This whole procedure, including me hunting for my materials and tools and finding grommets that fell under the tire and things like that, took me a total of 15 minutes.
from removing those beauty shrouds to putting them back in place and closing the lid. And you can see I'm not rushed. This is not a hard job to do. And go ahead and place the uh, negative connector. And once that's all connected down, you can go ahead and take off those uh, cables and shut down the charger so it doesn't spark on anything. Be extra careful when you have them hooked up to another battery if you choose that method. And then that's all it took. Literally, as you can see, it's taken me more time to actually put all the shrouds and all that stuff in place until I'm done right here. This is the same procedure you use from any car. This happened to be for an RX350. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.